This conference will now be recorded. Hello guys, welcome back. So once again, uh, account payable and that way in account payable, uh, uh, like uh, you guys are uh, practicing here, like uh, transaction posting, document posting, I have explained in the previous session, right? And this is what you guys are doing right now. Right. So uh, in previous session, what I did, uh, simple invoice I have posted, right? So if you have single in, single invoice, uh, you can post it very easily. If you're having multiple invoice, if you're having like several invoices out of each, which you have to release payment of, you have to post payment against very few invoices, then what will happen? Some of you might be knowing this. This is a very simple things, but uh, as I know, like uh, I have like basically this video is uh, the purpose of recording this videos and all i'm considering all the beginners and freshers you know keeping uh, those people into mind so for these people like for those people there will be some challenges they won't be able to understand like how to select uh, or like how to you know how i'm going to select the invoices and all in the sense how they are going to set the invoices i'll just do one thing guys here i'll post some invoices that's what fb 60 sorry fb 60 so now here i'll post few invoices let's suppose since i'm having this real itself right now to use this real itself save it again i'm going to post another invoice same date or even you can use different date also i'm using different different amounts okay so that easily we will be able to identify save it so five six invoices i'll be posting guys and here quickly i'm posting guys because previous session already i have shown you that how to post the invoice okay so 1200 this time just save it and again i'll post another invoice also is Okay, another invoice. And here's the amount, 3,000, save it. Here, let's suppose I'm going to post an invoice worth of 5,000 and again, 5,000. Okay, and for this invoice, let's suppose, so you just do one thing. 5000 save this now so document number was 2005 right and for this invoice i'm going to post a credit memo okay credit memo worth of so when do i have to give okay here you need to give the date and press enter so look at here everything got changed or else even you can use the transaction code fb 65 so this is how also you can post a credit memo right now here give a vendor and i'm going to post a credit memo of 2000 okay this credit memo let's suppose this return or corrections whatever you say is right return means return is going to be in case of goods Right, let's suppose rent invoice we have received. So this is a kind of corrections. Instead of 3,000 vendor, I sent you invoice of 5,000. That is already posted. Now we are going to reduce 2,000 by posting a credit memo. Simply we are going to ask the confirmations from on the, through email, right? Now, so you just post this 2,000. And here the invoice got posted against which document number, guys? So document number was 2005. So here in addition, you can specify credit memo for which of 2005 and then save it now so look at here these many these many several invoices got posted if you click if you come here if you come back here and click on refresh right so refresh means now since i have selected here click on back button I have selected here all item it means open item also will be there guys and cleared item also is there open item means what guys these invoices just we have posted we have posted we have posted what we have posted the invoices only 
but the payment is not made yet right and these are the cleared item it means this is already invoice we have received and payment is also made so these are the closed item right we have nothing to do with these things and all right now whatever the open items are there this is only our payables right and that too whichever open items are there so invoice minus credit memo is your payable right so this is total payable is okay so now what is happening guys now if you have to post a payment here use transaction code fdex 53 once again here as an fdex 53 and let's suppose against two invoices okay against two invoices so let's suppose two invoices is like say for example here doc invoice number or document number 2002 and 3 these two invoices 1100 and 1200 right and let's suppose so invoice number or so-called document number you know let's suppose you've forgotten the amount while entering here you've forgotten the amount which amount is there right here since amount is there in round figure 1100 and 1200 so i can come to know or even you can also come to know that this is 13 so easily you can put 2300 right what will happen let's suppose if one invoice amount is this one this much and the third invoice amount is this much how you are going to uh, you have to add both amount right and then you can put here so instead of doing instead of adding we are giving only one it means one rupees or one dollar whatever your currency is there in that so what i'm going to give and here you can give your vendor press enter so look at here guys out of so these many invoices are there out of which one credit memo is also there this credit memo is against of this invoice this against this invoice this credit memo was posted how you will come to know that this credit memo posted against this invoice so in narration already we have specified right check here narration somewhere it is already specified where it is kg so is it not specified guys why it is not appearing okay so i guess the gl account we have specified the narrations right generally upper side also header text or reference field was there okay so i was supposed to anyway so here also i'm going to you can double click here so generally what is happening guys i was supposed to specify here i was supposed to specify here so that it is going to appear i have specified against gl account that that whatever that you know text field i have updated against gl account. no worries so even here also we can double click here and you can edit and here we can give like let's suppose credit memo for document number 2005 save it so now i refresh so look at here this credit memo for document number 2005 against this one this credit memo got posted this is how we will come to know now the transaction is sorry payment is going to be posted against which document 2002 and 2003 so now here come back so i have given one this time i assigned 9800 right these all amount let's suppose that for system all become due okay because even tops of payment also we are using, using triple zero one so if you post the invoices immediately it is going to be due uh as i told you again I'll, I'll repeat here in the previous session also i told you guys that tops of payment is going to be explained in the upcoming session so you guys will be having perfect, perfect understanding about these things uh so don't worry right now what is happening system is saying that these all items these many invoices are there i have assigned only one rupee system is saying that 9800 but i don't want to make payment of all these invoices i am saying that 2002 and three these two invoices only is going to be paid so you just need to do one thing guys click on here so click on first of all select all already so all selected you just click on select all so select all means look at here all become blue color all become the blue color and then you need to click on deactivate items so deactivate here so look at here all become black color 
so black color means not selected and blue color means selected so now non, none of the invoices are selected and this is why here assigned amount becomes zero now what to do so i have to make payment against this one double click here mm -hmm. and i have to make payment against this one double click here also so look at here now 2300 and i have assigned only one rupees so now what is happening you need to click here i'm going to change the amount and double click here on bank account so here instead of one i'm going to make it 2300 press enter and you can click on process of an item yes so again we came back now amount which i have entered is also 2300 and amount sap has assigned is also 2300 it means if you have a look here these two items are only highlighted remaining items are not selected right and you can click on document if you want to see the uh, accounting entry click on simulate so look at here the bank account is going to be credited and your vendor account is going to be debited with this much post it and if you post it now come back here and click on rephrase so now look at here this time so now here what is happening guys this is the invoice here and this is the invoice and this is KJD's payment so against these two invoice what is happening guys this is the payment how you will come to know that this 2300 got posted against these two invoices system look at here the clearing documents are same 1013 1013 1013 it means these three items are relevant these two invoices got you know cleared against this payment so clearing document is same these three items are relevant in the sense like this is the i want to say this one uh payment this is the credit memo this is the invoice and at a time this got cleared so same clearing number is there 1012 against three line item and 1013 against this three line item right so this is how the multiple selects if you are having multiple invoices then against those invoices if you want to make payment of very few invoices only in that case you need to deactivate first of all better to deactivate all the better to deactivate all the invoices and i'll show you once again and let's suppose one rupees once again give your sorry here give me here account type k stands for vendor guys now look at here it's only three right now this time i'm going to make payment of this 5000 invoice number 2005 so you just do one thing guys double click on 1500 and double click on 3000 so even if you are going to double click on here also by that also system is if you double click here it got selected if you double click it got deselected right so if less number of invoices are there then manually you can double click on that if 100 invoices are there and out of which you get, out of which you have to uh, you know release payment of or you have to post payment of only two invoices in that case you need to click here look at here select all and then you need to click on deactivate and then i'm going to activate this 5000 so this is our invoice but against this we have posted a credit memo also so give here 2000 right so what is the payment guys the payment is going to be released worth of 3000 and now there might be a question in your mind let's suppose at the time of posting payment the user has forgotten user has forgotten about this credit memo he has not this credit memo was not selected so 5000 we have posted into sap now what will happen guys so two things are there either you have to reverse this 5000 and then you have to repose the transactions or else or else this 5000 is let's suppose posted and based on this transaction posting whatever the payment team is there they have checked like okay this 5000 worth of transactions were posted today so they are going to release the payment vendor got payment of 5000 and this 2000 open item this 2000 credit memo is still there so again this is going to be part of dispute account receiver sorry account payable team and this team is going to contact vendor and saying that by mistake this is what happened so in that case vendor will say that okay no issues whatever the credit memo is there you can adjust it against a different invoice also 
okay so such kind of you know small small things guys will keep on happen and people are going to they will make use of their mind and they are going to manage so here this time 5000 and this 2000 credit memo is posted against this uh what to say invoice itself so 3000 right 3000 payment we are supposed to be here i have entered only one rupees right so you click here change the amount make it 3000 here okay click on process open item so we came back now look at here 3000 we have also entered system is also assigned here if you want to check the accounting entry simulate it and then you save it so now this time what is happening guys this time if you come back and if you refresh so this 5000 is also gone and along with this 2000 is also gone and this 3000 payment we have made and how you will come to know that all these three are relevant so look at here the clearing document number is 1014 14 14 right this is how you will come to know so how much open items are there we are having only two open items right this is how guys if you talk about this sap and all everything uh is easy only it depends like uh, slowly slowly if you know all the things are going to be explained in details okay slowly slowly you guys also proceed one by one one by one the way i'm proceeding and the sequence which i'm following guys the same sequence better you guys also follow so that's all in this session guys okay in next uh tutorial in the next video again the next topic is going to be explained.